Hello everybody, Bryos here and for you guys today, I have the free Mac from the January 2022 event. That means if you complete some challenges during that month, including the accursed 8000 missile damage challenge which results in lots of mediocre LRM boats gameplay, if you complete those challenges, you can redeem this free Mac. And this Mac is actually a top tier medium Mac, one of the best Macs you can get in the game for the medium weight class. And for all veterans, you will know this as a Hunchback 2CA. That is the laser version of the 50 ton clan battle mech. And yeah, it's good. So thank you PGI for this mech, even though I already have one already. But anyway, let's go on. So anyway, before you go into mechlet and configure your mech, and before you get into the game, always know the pros and cons of your chases. For this variant, the Hunchback 2CA, let's talk about the pros of these chases. Firstly, it is a battle mech, so you can swap the engine for different engines of different ratings, which is fantastic because it allows you to free up tonnage and gets, gives you a lot of build variety. Its biggest advantage is actually these four high-mounted energy hard points, which are all on its shoulders, so great height and great for hill humping. So do configure your weapon groups appropriately and place your weapons there. Um, it also is able to mount jump jets. So it's able to give you the option once you put jump jets to position yourself in various locations in the game itself when you during during gameplay, during matches that is. Um, unfortunately, it has some flaws, not too shabby flaws. The biggest flaw that you have to be aware of are it's actually its side torsos. These side torsos are very easy to pick up. So defensively, it is really weak. In higher tier gameplay, tier 1, tier 2, they are really accurate, so you gotta be careful of your side torsos. Most of the time, you die to side torso destruction more often than CT. Other problems for this mech are not really flaws. It has average mobility for 50 tonner and not much defensive quirks at all, which is fine, I suppose. So anyway, let's get down to the build. So knowing the pros of this mech, I'm actually mounting two heavy large lasers and two ER medium lasers in those wonderful high mounts. And three additional ER medium lasers make it a two heavy large and five ER medium laser build, which is a typical clan laser vomit to build. Really deadly and punches out to pretty good range. Uh, do take note, you can actually mount six ER medium lasers even though I mounted five, but I mounted five for better heat management and for better sustained DPS. Sometimes in quick play, um, you need more sustained DPS compared to... You still need a high alpha, don't get me wrong, but you need to consider sustained DPS. And yeah, that's what this build is all about. And with an XL 270 engine, this build goes out to a speed of 87.5. I actually made this build to be faster than the typical clan um, heavy mech, which moves at 81, so I can outrun or outposition them. And with one jump jet, I can position myself in certain areas sun mechs like the Hellbringer can't go. In terms of heat dissipation, heat management, I actually have a massive amount of heat sinks. 22 double heat sinks. Do take note, my left arm is stripped with almost no armor. Only one point to avoid this irritating warning. Um, and my right arm only has 26 points. And this is actually, well, kind of a risk because it tends to lose its tight torsos before its arms. And by stripping armor, I can actually fit in one extra double heat sink. But if you don't like this, you can actually remove one double heating and put, well, a lot more armor in the arms. So yeah, that's it. Typical clan laser vomit build. And yeah, let's move on to skills. So in terms of skills, I'm putting 45 SPs into the firepower tree. Being a clan build, um, most clan experienced players will put lots into firepower to maximize its strengths, which is its offensive capabilities. Uh, being a laser vomit build, you want all the heat gen nodes and with all those ER mediums and heavy larges, you want to reduce your laser duration. So that means 4 nodes of laser duration for 10% decrease in the burn time and a whole bunch of heat gen skills for 8.4% uh, reduction in heat. And with the other skills, I get 15% range. That's actually intentional because ER large lasers are everywhere nowadays. So you want to maximize your range so you can do a bit more damage at longer ranges to do some damage against those ER large lasers. But you want to move into optimal for that massive 68.5 alpha, which is, well, very deadly as you'll see from the gameplay. It also has a cooldown reduction of 7.2, which is nice. So anyway, back to the other skill trees. All of them, I'm not putting anything inside. I don't need survival. 
um, I don't really want mobility. The 50 ton mobility of this chassis is enough. One jump jet, so who cares about this tree? This tree is probably the most useless tree. Don't invest anything in it. Almost all my builds have nothing in this. Uh, yeah, anyway. Going to operations, 20 SPs into operations. For my hot builds, I tend to run 5 nodes of cool run and 5 nodes of heat containment for 10% increase in heat dissipation and 15% increase in capacity. The more heat sinks you have, the more effective these nodes are. And interestingly for this build, I'm actually running something a bit different. I'm running 17 SPs into sensor tree. This is to get one node of seismic. Um, it's kind of like a free wall hack because you can detect max behind cover as long as they are kind of near you about 100 meters away good against max trying to sneak up on you only works if you're not moving by the way and more importantly i'm getting five nodes of radar deprivation that's 100 percent radar deprivation so once you move into cover the enemy loses locks on you totally instantly so the idea for getting these five nodes is basically to hit and hit them with the high amounts more specifically heal hump and quickly reverse and the enemy will lose the locks so hopefully they don't see you where you're where you are or the return fire the return missiles especially um have a problem against you and of course all the other skills increase your um, targeting time and all that which is nice i suppose and finally for auxiliary nine nodes into auxiliary tree for two strikes and two cool shots i didn't get the cool shot cooldown because the heat dissipation is amazing uh, so look at the gameplay and you see how fantastic the heat dissipation is so anyway that's it that's the free January Mac, the Hunchback 2CA, top tier medium Mac with those four hard hitting high mounts. And with all those clan lasers, like I said earlier, it does a massive 68.5 damage from an alpha. In fact, you can do more with the additional ER medium in the CT, uh, but it leads to a lot of heat problems. Um, this build is more for, well, not the top 1% players. I'm not there. But anyway, with that being said, let's get down to some gameplay with the free January Mac, and I'll show you it's good. So let's go. And here we are on Grim Plexus for the very first showcase match. Game mode is domination as you can see because of the yellow pea stain on the minimap. And interestingly enough, even though I am solo dropping, we have three Hunchback 2 CAs and a Die Wolf in this lens. And if you look at the minimap, I'm ahead of the other Hunchback 2 CAs. And that's because this build is made to be faster than normal. So yep, a bit more options in terms of mobility. So anyway, I'm going to head to the circle. The idea is to link up with Elf, or rather with Bravo and Charlie Lance in Golf 8 and start trading with those beautiful high mounts. And here we have our first customer. It's a Phoenix Hawk. Yeah, managed to get some damage in. Light PPC build. Took a bit of PPC fire, but that's fine. One thing about this map, most people rotate to Fox 7, Fox 8, which isn't the best position, Shadow Cat. Yeah, because as you rotate to Fox 7, Fox 8, enemy snipers in the Fox 6 hill actually have good lines on you. So that's a problem. Golf 7, Golf 8 is easier to defend. And yeah, true enough, there's one assault in Fox 6. Thankfully, if you look at the minimap, Alpha Lance is holding Golf 8. So I'm gonna keep them company. Got a Jaeger. Yep, Golf 7, Golf 7. Yeah, try to call out Golf 7 so the team will defend the left flank. Trying to pop that, but not enough because I only have one jump jet. But it's time to reposition. The dial on my left is like way isolated. He should be nearer the team. Anyway, waiting for them to come in. One thing about these kind of builds, you want to fire a huge alpha and then cool down. Foxtrot, right torso, Atlas. Oh, that's a Lerm Atlas, the heresy. It gets Spanish. One large alpha takes off his right torso. 68.5 is quite a lot of damage. Another alpha into that shadow cat. He didn't shield. So he took quite a bit of damage. Jaeger, Echo, CT. Jaeger's called out Echo, but he's behind cover. Golf 7 then. I'm actually trying Those to support. Salts are here. I'm trying to support this die on my left. But he refuses to come back. Yeah, this Alice deserves to die. What's that? Rotary ACs. Durham's largest. Yeah, Kodiak, Golf 7, Golf. You dishonor the Atlas, my friend. New target. Friendly Dyer, please don't go there. You're too far. I'm trying to tell the Dyer to come back. He's like going further and further away from the team. Right? So, up uh, one Kodiak. Golf Kodiak, please. Reverse him to come a bit earlier. Didn't want to take too much damage. My CD is already open. 
Target spotted. Yeah, the strength of the high amounts are uh, he's one shot. Amazing. One sniper at extreme range, thousand meters. Target spotted. New target acquired. Friendly dire behind you. Shadow Cat CT. As expected, they're pushing this lonesome dire there. He's in trouble. The Shadow Cat, heavy machine guns, gonna punish this dire at short range. Yeah, he goes down. But I avenge him. I told the to come back, but no, they don't listen. So fight is getting intense here, 2 2. Enemy is pushing through the Fox line. Let's see how the team reacts to that. We had a hole and let them come. Acquired. Or we push the a few in Fox 8 also, be careful. Now they're flanking us. I can see your leg. Alpha. Oh, oh. <laughs> took a bit of return fire. One thing about being a 50 tonner, you have medium mech armor, which target isn't too shabby. Kodiak Golf is CT target open. Destroyed. Thank you. Yeah, this flank is doing well. Push into Golf 7 because target Fox 8 acquired. has assaults. Golf 7, guys. We defend Golf 7 instead. New so since the enemy assaults acquired. are pushing through Fox 8, we're gonna all defend Golf 7. We can kill those on Fox 6, Fox 7 side. Affirmative. While those in Fox 8 are isolated. This build has quite a bit of range, 448 meters optimal for the ER hotel, left torso, for the ER mediums, so putting a bit more range. Golf 8 group should move up a bit. New target acquired. But they're just holding that ridge line. Target spotted. I have two flanks to worry about, my left New target and acquired. that whole bunch on Golf 8. Trying to decide where to support. Let them push over. New target acquired. Golf 7, this one assault Charlie. Target spotted. Target yeah. acquired. Our team is split in two. Target He's a spotted. golf, Charlie's a stick. The Golf 6 and the Golf 7. New target acquired. 6-5, really close. Execution is a stick. New so no acquired. point shooting him until later. Target spotted. Because it's close. 6-6 six, six now. Oh, oh. Large alpha target. takes off that mech, whatever it was. Target Look at the heat dissipation. Acquired. Very fast, really good. New target acquired. Wolverine's cord. No. Oh. Ah, yeah, I got him. I got him. Four kills so face golf eight, guys. Executioner's a stick. Please target don't waste spotted. heat on him. Yeah, time to coordinate target the fire. Spotted. Phoenix top right leg alpha. Unfortunately, my CT is open, so I'm kind of like New target fragile at the acquired. moment. Got to be extra careful. Alpha is now linked. Remind myself of my high mounts. Target New target spotted. acquired. Target spotted. Caught between two groups of enemy forces is never a good thing. Target Let's get rid destroyed. of this guy. Oh no, I didn't get the kill. So the team New will target. stop target focusing target. on him like this, Corsair. Oh, Phoenix Ox is stick now. Good, good. We have this game. Target Phoenix Ox is stick. Ignore him. Go for the assault in Golf 8. Yeah, kind of trying to coordinate target. the remnants of this team. Moving up with the Corsair and the remaining Hotel King Crab. Hanchi 2 C's. Notice they're all alive. Alpha Lance, all three alive. High mounts take off the Hanchi's left torso. Yeah, Queen Goat gets the kill. Very nice. Was a bit worried about overheating. And that's it. Good work, team. And that's the match. Game over. A glorious victory. CT cord, but not bad, I would think. Not bad match for me. Four kills. So let's take a look at the damage output and the scores. And that means 737 damage for me, 4 KMDDs, 4 kills, very decent, 2 solo, 11 components and an amazing match score of 597. So let's go on to the next match. For the second showcase match, we find ourselves on Hibernal Rift doing the game mode Conquest, which quite a few people do not like, I know. But personally, I love Conquest, not only because it gives you the most sea builds, but it's a game mode that requires actually a bit more planning rather than just smashing each other. And that's sometimes it's fun. And talking about fun, in this match I'm dropping solo, but coincidentally dropping together with a four-man Elfog group. That's the Gil, Nisk, Kamikaze Viping and Friends unit. Nice people. The community is small and close-knit, so really nice people. And on the other side with Stony, Stone Falcon, that is, and a few others. So it's gonna be a fun, great match with nice friends. Unfortunately, team seems to be NASCARing towards Kappa. Enemy Viper comes in, tries to cap Tater. Viper, Tater. Machine guns. He's kind of overly aggressive. I'm going to punish him a bit. Good angle from here. 
even though the cover blocks him a bit. Override engaged. Yeah, team does seem to be NASCAR. I would love to hold this area. But gotta be mindful of the team's position. Dropship, we've got movement. New target acquired. This is why I make this build a bit faster than normal. In case I need to run. Yep, there they are. Coming from our left lane. And I'm pretty much alone here. Hmm. I think I should run. Oops, I got left behind. Yep. Hey guys, stop the Nescar. We actually want to hold this line. Yeah, yeah, we're Nescar in too far. I'm like... Just yeah, looked like, away. Right. Like, that ramp is a terrible place to fight. We yeah, why are we all there? Right? We had a good spot. Never mind. Quick play. We had a fantastic spot. Now we're Nes carrying to the center. Yeah, we had a great spot there. But then again, it's Delta quick play, so we gotta follow the team. Yeah, yeah, just don't Nes car. Just yeah. hold this. Yeah, yeah, let's hold this area. Let's kill here. Yeah, we're gonna hold this spot. Acquired. Two max can hold this spot nicely. Great angles for range builds. We might need to bail though, Brian. Bad angles. Yeah, there's no lights. Yeah, team is moving forward as you can see it from the minimap. So you gotta move a bit. Bravo 3, Bravo 4. Yeah, I don't really want to rotate. This is a great spot for this build. You have yeah, range, the lights. You have you range, you have cover. Hopefully Gil and the rest can hold this ridge. Four of us on this ridge right now. New target. They're coming from our left leg, Bravo 3. Viper left torso, Alpha. Yeah, calling out the components of a mech always helps. Yeah, he's not coming this way. So that's Nisk. Also in a Niger, just like Gil. So one thing about this build, I have jump jets, so I'm dropping yes, down I'm Charlie 4, please. Using the 100% de okay. data deprivation. And yep, tasty tentacles. Ooh. Massive alpha takes him out with one shot. Kilo left also. Yep, there's a mech at 2B. Oh. Okay, Charlie 4 lots. Gonna need yeah. support. Because there's a lot behind me. No, oh, that's Stone Falcon. Nice guy. But gotta kill him. Try at least. Yeah, he hit me pretty good. Gotta fall back. Always check the minimap, like I said. Mech is halved. And as you can see, I'm like too far to the team's left. Close match 3 3. Really down on caps, acquired. but never worry about caps. At Charlie 3. Just ignore him. Ah, Bravo 3, I mean. Yeah, never worry too much about caps, like I said. Kill first. Okay. Priyanya, left torso. So we're gonna try join the team. The Charlie tree reach is more or less lost. We are nice curry. Delta tree is a nice heal. So I might hit there. But this hellfire is a nice target. Ooh, took a bit of fire from an Urbi there. And yeah, that looks like a shadow. Walk and one commando. Walked a bit there. Mm. Guys, yeah. low ground is normally a bad place. Target's Don't hang around Charlie 4 low, please. Or Charlie 3 low. New target. Yeah, if you look at the minimap, a whole bunch of friendlies are hiding in the low ground at Charlie 3. Demon right torso. Uh, right side. That's a great way to lose. Oh, bad trade by Matt Lefty in his Arctic move. He caught me, blow off an arm. But, oh, whoa. Oh. A strike to something. So two kills, including the Arctic Wolf. Second one from a strike. So as I was saying, the large alpha. Get out of low ground. Delta foresight. Really does a lot of damage. Up, up, up. I'm trying to encourage the team to move out of the low ground. Oh, but this match, I'm taking a lot of damage. So got to play a bit more carefully now. Using this hill on my right for cover. Hellfire, right torso, golf. Yeah, that hellfire is coming. Nice hit on his right torso, blows it off. He's still running in the open. Can I get the kill? Here a large, or the heavy largest, better range, takes him out. 9 3 guys, let's push. Very badly hurt at my CT and right torso. But we have this, it's 10 3. So not too shabby, we actually rotated a bit with NASCAR a bit, but we managed to hold the Charlie 3 Delta 3 side. I think the team enemy team was spread out. We need to get the guard. Yep, I'm being targeted. Possibly Charlie 5. Yeah, so after killing stuff, we have a good advantage. D4 ish? Is... Alright. This is where we camp. Target. Yep, there he is. Shadowhawk. So last mech, obvious. Last mech is a Shadowhawk. Snap build is built. Another Aussie. 
Nice guy, just like Stone Falcon. Destroyed. But he goes down. So that's it. 12 3, glorious victory. Um, yeah, they only have about almost 600 cap points. Uh, easy for us to overcome. So just a matter of time before we. I'm going to hit to Epsi and help the team win. So as you can see in this match, uh, this bill and of course the previous match also, as I said, has a really huge alpha with 5 ER mediums instead of 6. Uh, it does a lot of damage, 68.5 alpha total, but the heat management is a lot easier than 6 ER mediums. In fact, I always memorize the number I can fire before, well, shutting down. So for this particular build, around 25%, 25% I can fire an alpha and I will not shut down. So that helps. But anyway, glorious victory, so time to wait for the scores and see how well I did. I'm just glad I didn't die. This build can be fragile at times. So there it is, 605 damage, but quality damage because that's 4 kills, 2 solo, 3 KMDDs, very decent, and a great match score of 520. So ladies and gents, that's it for this video on the free Mac for January, the Hunchback 2CA. Top tier laser vomit media Mac. Slightly different from some other builds, but generally the same with a combination of heavy larges and ER mediums. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys around. Bye.